Hello guys, welcome back to Kobe's Kitchen where we share simple, amazing recipes. You don't have to break a bank to create an amazing meal in your home. And homemade food does not have to be boring. Thank you, thank you, thank you for choosing this channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. We are having a giveaway to Kifka 500 subscribers. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Go follow Kobe's.kitchen on Instagram. That's where I'll be announcing the giveaway. So today I'm making a nice, nice, nice meal. Who doesn't love chicken? If you don't love chicken, then you will love the Kobe's kitchen. So today, let's go to the ingredients. So for the chicken, I'll be using this double-sided pan to roast it. So if you don't have an oven, I hope you have this double. Invest, invest in your kitchen appliances to make easy homemade meals. So I'm having these chicken legs. Yeah, so these are our main ingredient, the chicken legs. And then for my marination, I will be using plain yogurt and then a teaspoon of cumin powder, not the seeds here, powder, then ginger powder, here, dana jera, garam masala, that is if you don't have chicken masala, use garam masala, and turmeric, of course. So I'll just mix each of these in a bowl where I will be marinating. So shake, shake your yogurt. And then put it in your bowl. Yote. And then I will be eyeballing my spices because I'm used to the cooking. If you're not used, if you're new, uh, just add a teaspoon of uh, garam masala. Then a teaspoon of ginger. A teaspoon of dana jera. However, if you don't like any of the spices, you, you can skip that and just proceed to the cooking of your chicken the way you like it. But however, if you want a very flavorful yogurt, don't skip it. That is turmeric powder, a teaspoon of it, and cumin. Cumin brings out a very nice flavor in chicken. So this is cumin powder, a teaspoon of it. And some salt to taste. So salt to taste. Mix this well. I will also, let me see if I have some soy sauce left. If you don't have, you can skip that. But if you have, you can put two tablespoons of your soy sauce but according to your liking so i will put whatever yeah about a tablespoon of the soy sauce of the dark soy sauce then i will mix this together to form a very thick paste so when done mixing you will have you will then wash your hands or rather use your brush in either way so I'm um, with my clean hands I'll be using uh, this paste to coat <laughs> to coat all my chicken so I'll just papasa the paste to my chicken vizuri ensure that every part of the chicken is coated well so after coating all your chicken, you will then wrap that in a thin film, um, uh, in a tight container, put it in your freezer, uh, not freezer, fridge for uh, roughly an hour or two, or rather midnight, uh, overnight if you have the time. So for me, I'll be putting it for two hours to marinate and uh, 
there the spices infuse to the bone and then we proceed to the next level so coat all your all your chicken with the paste it will be very 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 flavorful So they are nicely coated I then put them in the fridge for two hours and then we'll be back with the cooking. So two hours are done and uh, this is how my marinated chicken looks like. So in my double sided pan I'll just arrange them in a way in a toshia zote without overlapping. Mine is old so don't mind the the peeling super old but sikuizi naona zimekuwa zimeanza kukuwa very cheap you should buy one they are nice so i will arrange them on this pan then the only thing i'll be doing is just turning them after every eight minutes i will just turn them so you don't i will i will not need any oil in these whatever in this what in this pan because i'm trying to arrange them same whatever because the i think my chicken has self-infused oil so i don't need to add any more oil in my chicken i'll just let it cook so arrange them in a way has it a has it a nini has it a fire nini has it a shikana, not kushikana, has it a squeeze. So the, the rest of the marinade which is here, ni tamuambibia tu juzori. To make sure nothing, nothing really goes to waste. And uh, the flavors, I'm so sure they are nicely infused to the to the bone. That's the point ya kuweka kwa fridge. Kama hauna fridge, uneka tu on a, on a cool surface. Bado it infused, but the fruit does it better. Kwanza overnight, hey, unas unaskia di your bloom because the flavors are bomb, like a bomb. They're hot like them, like a hero. So we'll then head to our motor on a medium high. This is medium high flame. I will put in my chicken, as you can see. So that's my chicken. Ah, yeah, the, the double sided pan that I'm using. So I'll just close. It's like a magnetic I'll just close and then wait them. I'll be flipping over after every 8 to 10 minutes. I'm going to put it here. I'm a conscience, you just flip it over. So that's the only thing we'll be doing until it's nicely golden brown in color. So it's about in eight minutes now. And as you can see, this is the progress. As you can see, our marination is caramelizing over there. So it's a time to overturn. So we'll just punica and then it. so easy and then you see so it I'm, I'm hoping I'll achieve a very nice brown color so just read rearrange them tena ndo each ikai on its own space bila mkinyano so again wait for the same amount of time that you had waited and uh, that's it that's the process that's basically what we'll be doing each and every time and again it's the normal Turning session. 
so you can see the juices these are the juices for the marination wow you can feel it the uh, the char mm -hmm. so we'll now then turn it on the other side and then see this is what i want to achieve in all the chicken so again since our our heat is concentrated at the center i'll just put the songesha heat so now i will reduce my heat uh to a uh, kind of low flame okay na hi si kukukienyeji kukukienyeji if you want to achieve the softness first lazima utabwe kidogo alafu ukunywe hapo kasuku and then you uh, manage to pick a hivi so this is broiler yeah broiler chicken uh, a very kind of soft chicken so i'm trying to put them in a way has it uh, has it uh, overlap each other So tandoori chicken uh, when i cook the tandoori chicken i think i will do the same it's only that i will use some mixed herb for the spices so stick around keep it locked for more for more recipes yeah yeah so that way to manage at a hizi zikuwe na the char so far so good it's almost done so as you can see you know when it's done uki uki kata hizi and then high toy the juicy whatever ama pia high kai red so keep the fire burning so the more unaskia iyo 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 sound ya the more you keep on turning so you won't be letting every 8 minutes sasa ikianza ku brown brown so it it at intervals of every 3 3 2 minutes 3 2 minutes so you'll be keeping on turning on turning on after every 2 to 3 minutes so that's what i basically do and then let's meet ikiwa isha eva for the final outcome so let me show you right now so i hope i hope you are here the charring and uh, the the oils the oils of the chicken yeah so it ifika to that point how to go the interval of 8 minutes so the first one been go the 8 minutes but now since in aiva to go the interval of every 2 to 3 minutes so let me turn My pan is uh, is old enough. Uh, now no, now what I'm already, so that's why it might be sticking, but it shouldn't be sticking because it was basically a non-stick. But me, 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 nani, me, 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 nani. Using this, these steel, steel whatever's uh, spoons, they destroy your non-stick. But we are Africans. We, we don't remember to use the other one so yeah so this is what i'll be doing for the remaining time yeah your chicken fever and then i'll be back for the final outcome don't he did it for too long i'm here to work it so let me wait for it even 
let's see if, if this progress so it, it still has some more turnings you can see over here Adol in a reddish reddish i hope you can see that in a reddish reddish so i should turn over and over and over to a clear white yeah so see you clear so it's almost done let me tell you my so my pan is a chakukua non-stick so the be stick who could do who could do but you don't go to me so my pan pan brown is a stick but me 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 so now as you can see so far it's it's well cooked you see akuna hiyo hiyo reddish it's it's clear white so right now what I'm, I think I will do I'll check it out the dog because right now what I think I will do uh, I will melt this this unsalted butter which ko kama mbili tu I'll melt it alafu I'll brush juu tu kidogo lightly to enhance the the browning kadogo tu alafu pia iko na flavor poa so let me do that and then twid twid so this is the melted butter what i'll do i'll just i'll just pakaju kidogo lightly ngo i uh, to give it a nice flavor na pia ita enhance the browning so i'll paka on on all However, if you don't have butter, don't stress over it. At a say you never ikula hivyo to it's done. It's just going an extra mile in the in the flavors and then the browning. So I'll just flip it over. Ndipia hiyo side ingine ni pake. Flip it over. then i apply the butter on the this side too so in it that can be peke and we are done so i'm uh, actually having mine with some i show you my snake pick over there i'm having mine with some potato wedges so if you have not yet watched my videos on my turmeric potato wedges please do so click to for this kitchen and I'm not going to watch it on this piece of video also okay. yeah so let me give it each side a minute a minute and then we are done so so far so good don't mind the messy kitchen if you're a good cook you must have a messy kitchen tick so now we are done and uh, let me show you so far so good so try out this recipe click on the notification bell to ensure anytime i upload a new video you are notified also then my walls are are, are whatever because of the marination but tutashughulika hiyo maneno baadaye utabu kwanza maneno yengine baadaye so oh jazi mamoto so try out this recipe and uh, subscribe See you on our next one. Bye. Bye.